Greetings, and thank you for viewing the ILHE Electronic Health Record Exchange demonstration. The Illinois Health Information Exchange, or ILHE for short, uses health information technology software to enable medical record exchange in Illinois. Two things to note before we begin. Number one, every unique electronic health record system, or EHR for short, may present a different view from the one featured in this demonstration, but the basic functionality is the same. Number two, ILHE services are compatible with any certified EHR product. Now, we're presenting this demonstration in the context of a very simple use case. A doctor receives a referral to see a new patient. This patient is in her 70s and has multiple complex medical issues. As an authorized ILHE user, the doctor is able to access the aggregated health record of the patient who has previously consented to sharing her medical records in the ILHE before she arrives for her appointment. He can take a look at her conditions, medications, lab results, history of procedures, and much more. This information gives the doctor a picture of the patient's health status and history helps him make better informed decisions involving her care, and even prevents possible duplicate tests and procedures and adverse drug reactions. I'm joined by Dr. David Demo, an authorized ILHE user. Dr. Demo is going to walk us through how he would use the ILHE to securely access Jane Carter's health records before she arrives for her appointment. Dr. Demo, I turn it over to you. Thank you. Hello, this is Dr. Demo. Well, I'm not a real doctor, but I play one in webinars. We start at the patient search page. I'm going to enter as much personal information about the patient as possible to narrow the search criteria. I know my patient is named Jane Carter, is female, and was born on October 1st, 1938. Here you see the results of my search. My search criteria matched exactly one patient. To the left of the patient name, there's a plus sign. Optionally, I can click on this to get an expanded view of what was found. So now, I'm looking at all the matched data sources, which is to say these are the providers that are currently holding health data on Jane Carter. Now that I'm sure that this is the correct person, I click on View Selected Patient Record to view a summary of her aggregated health record. The summary page is an overview of some of the sections that are most important to me, like labs, medications, allergies, and more. This is what I need to get a snapshot of my patient's health history. Now I want to see some detail. The gray column on the left side is a menu. The menu choices correspond to the sections of a standard continuity of care record. Some of the choices have a thin blue bar at the left side. This indicates that the section contains information. I can see that the medication section has information, so I'll click on that menu button. The medications are presented as a list. Note the blue round little icon that appears on every row. This is the drill down icon. It is used throughout the system to indicate that more detail is available. By clicking on this drill down icon, I get more detail about a particular medication. The detail here includes information about which clinician did the ordering. Back on the summary page, I'm now going to take a look at the physical exam section and the lab results section, starting with the physical exam section. This is a comparison view showing the patient's vital signs from a number of different dates. Note there are four columns. The graph shows at a glance that vital signs have been steady. Using the menu again, I now look at the lab results section. The lower portion of this page lists the lab tests in chronological order. Individual results are available by hyperlink. Here is an example of a detailed lab result page. Returning to the lab results section, the upper portion of this page categorizes the test by type. 
And in the columns on the right, it shows test dates. Note the column in the middle under the header cumulative. A drill down icon appears here when a particular test has multiple results. I'm going to click here to look at the patient's CBC differential. In this cumulative view, I can see how measurements change over time. On the left side, I see the components of the blood test with their reference ranges. In the columns at the right, I see results from all available dates. In this case, there are two columns. Towards, towards the top of this page, there's a link, cumulative graph. I'll click on that. I'm now looking at the cumulative graph page for the lab results. I can select which test component to look at and click on Refresh. For components with reference ranges, there are lines indicating high and low normal. Returning once again to the main menu, I'm going to wrap up my inquiry by looking at the Documents section. Here, the first level of detail is a listing which shows all the documents that are available for me to review. The blue font color indicates a hyperlink. I can click on that to view the actual document. What I'm looking at here is a continuity of care document formatted like a printout. I can scroll through it. I can view the various sections like allergies, problems, medications, vital signs, etc. The documents list would also include radiology scans when those are available. Now that I've gotten an overview of Jane Carter's health history, I'm ready to meet with her and have an informed discussion that focuses on the patient. Thank you, Doctor. As you saw, Dr. Demo was able to access all of this information in just a matter of minutes and now has an aggregated view of Jane Carter's medical history. The doctor can now compare accurate medical history with current symptoms and diagnoses to decide on an effective treatment plan for Ms. Carter. With a view of Ms. Carter's current medications, Dr. Demo now knows what he is able to prescribe and sometimes more importantly, what medications he should not prescribe. Looking at her, her recent physical exams, he can see her vital stats and compare those with the vital stats he ascertains during her appointment. Seeing her past lab results, he can better decide which, which tests still need to be done and which tests he does not need to duplicate. This all leads to Dr. Demo making better informed decisions about Jane Carter's care. In turn, when he updates Ms. Carter's health record with new information, the next clinician that provides her care will enjoy the same benefits. Thank you for viewing this demo and learning more about how the ILHE facilitates secure electronic health exchange in Illinois. To learn more about our services and to sign up, please visit us at ILHE.org. If you have specific inquiries about connecting to the ILHE, please contact Executive Director Raul Riccari at the phone number or email address on your screen. Thanks very much once again, and we look forward to working with you.